What's up guys, Mark here from VIP Shop Management. Today I'm gonna to talk about refunds and how to reverse a refund if you did it by mistake. Uh, let's just create a quick estimate real quick right here. Just say we have an old change and we're gonna pay it. And I'm gonna click on pay, cash, and done. So assume I came here oh, and I click on the menu up top and I click on refund and uh, yes, I mean, well, well, let me explain this. What is a refund? Ba refund is not like voiding. Refund basically, you receive the payment, and we have to create a negative of that payment so to make it zero. So make sure your revenue it doesn't go up or down. So you received a payment and you gave a payment. So if we look at this, uh, we received the payment cash of thirty-four dollars. Now we have to give him payment back of thirty thirty-six. I'm sorry, thirty-six dollars. And let's say check. So we received the payment in cash, but we gave it a check in this case. And uh, let's click on print to preview right here if we can. So this is how it looks like. It looks like it's refunded. And if we look at the payments right here, we received the payment of thirty six forty one, and and we gave him a payment of which is negative thirty six forty one, and it says refunded on it. All right, so the the problem we were having is how do we undo that if we made a mistake? Uh, let's go to our daily report and daily report right here. And this is the invoice that says refunded. So if you look at daily reports, it's zero. So it's not affecting your revenue whatsoever. However, if we look at the payments right here, we can see we received the payment and then we, we gave a payment basically. All right, so how do we undo this? Just click on it. And when you click on the menu up top, you're gonna see undo refund. So if you click on it, it's gonna again cancel refund basically. Click yes, and it's reversed. So it's gonna remove it from your daily report, gonna send it back to the workflow. We're gonna go to the workflow, and we're gonna see this invoice. It says refund reversed. So you, it's easy to find it when you go back to your, uh, to your uh, workflow. So it's, your, the status of it's gonna say refund reversed. We're gonna click right here. I know it says payment is zero, but remember it is zero because there's two payments. So we're not gonna delete those automatically. You gotta do those, especially if you have a square. Uh, that that's gonna be a lot harder. I would definitely uh, not recommend doing this if you have a square terminal connected to VIP, because you're gonna know what you're doing right now here. I mean, refund when you when you refund in Square Terminal right here, it'll actually refund it from your account. So keep that in mind. But on on all other occasions, just we just have to make sure we delete those if we need to. We don't have to delete those. I'm just saying, if we need to delete those, we can delete those. And now if we look at the payments, it's right there. So, and you can basically reuse the whole invoice again, basically. That's the whole idea of undoing a refund is the ability to reuse the invoice number and the invoice itself. Um, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.